Hey, hey, welcome to Terranel Designs, number four. I'm Sam Nelson, and each week we redesign an outdoor living space with the individual style and needs of the homeowner in mind. I'll walk you through my design process and get you some tips along the way. If you find this video helpful, please take a minute to hit like and subscribe. That really helps. Also, if you're looking to redesign your outdoor living space, head on over to terranelldesigns.com and click Get Started. All right, enough housekeeping, let's get to it. All right, today we have an awesome space that we're working with. It's a great big piece of property um, and it's your typical blank slate. They have an existing wooden deck that leads off of the kitchen and below that is a small patch of concrete uh, that currently serves as their, their only patio space in the rear. They're looking to change it up and add some really cool features. On their wish list is number one, a sunken fire pit area. Number two, they want to go with more gray tones for a more contemporary feel. And three, they want to upgrade that existing wooden deck and uh, make the space below it a lot more usable. And we'll get deeper into that in just a little bit. So with all that in mind, we came up with an awesome design for it. Check it out. And we're back. I'm super pumped about that design. I love the gray tones, the sunken fire pit. It's just this really cool contemporary feel. It's got some really neat trends, but it's not too trendy to where it's going to um, look dated in a few years. For that sunken fire pit area, we set that down so it gives it a little bit more dimension and character. Now, when you build a fire pit area like this out, it's important to consider drainage. We don't want water pooling up in that area under there. Um, we certainly don't want standing water or water washing out the base of the pavers. So we wanna make sure that we have a really good stone base, possibly 12 inches of stone. Uh, in some cases, you may even need to use drain tile to help get that water out of there. We used a fire glass and more of a modern feel for this space too, and I think it just turned out awesome. Keeping with the gray tones, we also used a gray liner for the swimming pool. Now, most times people go with a blue liner for those swimming pools, giving it more of like a royal blue or an aqua blue look. I love the gray liners because it's a bit more subtle and subdued. On an overcast day, the water is very reflective and tranquil in appearance. Uh, but on a sunny day with a bright blue sky, the water almost gives off this deep teal look that's super classy. I love it. In upgrading the deck, we wanted to do a few things. First off, it was in the budget to do a composite deck. Composite decks can certainly be expensive, so they're not always um, the best fit for certain projects. But in this case, we're gonna upgrade that finish so that we don't have as much maintenance. The railings are gonna be done with a, a cable style, which is a really cool kind of industrial feel that doesn't break up the view as much and certainly brings more interest into the deck. We're gonna put a rain, rain catching system underneath the deck so that when people are out in the backyard and it starts raining, you can actually use that as a shelter. The water will collect in a basin that sits right below the plank finish, and then there'll be a gutter system to keep that water moving away. That way the outdoor kitchen can be a great spot to sort of sit and wait out a storm before you get back into the swimming pool. Overall, I think this is a super cool design. It takes a uh, pretty ineffective space and adds a lot of character and cool features to the backyard. Now, this is a property with a view, so we really didn't have to go overboard with the plantings, just enough to soften it up a little bit and get some privacy from the neighbors on the side. But we wanted to keep it a very low maintenance setup, so super easy to take care of plants, and we use deco stone rather than mulch, so that doesn't need to be replaced as often. 
All right, well that wraps it up for this week. If you found this video helpful, please take a minute to hit like and subscribe. That really helps spread the word. And if you have any questions or requests on videos that you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments below. If you're looking to kick your backyard up a notch and you need help with the design, head on over to our website, terranelldesigns.com, and click Get Started. Until next week, I'm Sam, and this is Terranel Designs.